Hello and welcome back to another video from Rabbit Arena. It's Lord Kimpton, and today we'll be installing a mod. Now, this week's or this month's mod is the Arts Magic Mo Magica mod. It's really quite cool. We've checked it out. Uh, we can put it in our server. We all started playing with it. It's not half bad, to be honest. In fact, it's very underrated, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, there's a few things you'll need to download. You'll need to start off with a fresh Minecraft.jar. So we'll start that now. Percent app data percent and easiest way to do this delete that's how I do it it's the easiest way it's the most quickest way it's the best way so I guess we'll go sign in and get a fresh copy uh, Lord Lord underscore Kimpton and we'll use uh -huh. There we go. Remember password. Logging in. It takes several seconds to minute, maybe. While waiting for that, you will need a program to open up these Java files. The easiest one to get hold of is 7-zip, and I recommend it. You can either get the 32-bit version or 64-bit version. Either one will do. However, it does help if you have a 64-bit computer to get the 64-bit version. Uh, I have a 64-bit computer. I've downloaded the 64-bit version. It does have some performance enhancements, so it's all good. Anyway, let's see if that's done. Yeah, it's done. So as you can see, it's a fresh copy of Minecraft 1.4.6, and that's all we need. You can close that. Now, we want to go to Chrome, and you want to download the, the Forge. And you want to get the version that they recommend, that they probably made the mod with. So open a new tab. Scroll down, that's the one we need, 6.5, uh, 6 and then 471, and we want to get the universal copy. Download. Takes you to an ad fly link. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll put all these links in the description. Well, I won't give direct links to these. I'll give this one, and this one, and this one. Okay? Next thing we want on the list is their arxmagic.zip and their mcore.jar and then the same file to be used for the server which we'll get to in a minute so arxmagica I think I'm pronouncing that wrong correct me please <laughs> anyway 3, 2, 1 da, 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 skip add download that one's downloading now go back, back scroll down and you want mcore Please wait. Du, da, da, da. Da, da. I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys are liking the videos that we're uploading. If we are, uh, we plan for a big Minecraft adventure, hopefully, and with the use of this mod, funny enough, and Tech It. We've uh, designed a way to use them both, let's say. Anyway, while that's. De uh, oh, there we go. Skip add. Uh, download. So we got our three files that we'll be needing for now. We will also need a fresh copy of the server, but we'll get that in a minute. So show in folder, put that to desktop, and mcore, put that to desktop, and arxmagic, put that to desktop. Anyway, so you can close that up, we don't need that for a minute. Put these next to each other, and we'll make a folder getting our, preparing our server. Minecraft server. Anyway, I'm gonna go percent at data percent. Brings up this again. I'm gonna go Minecraft, bin, right click this, 7 zip, open archive. I'm gonna delete the meta inf, we don't need it. And you wanna open this one, 7 zip, open archive. Select control A, drag drop. Yes. Now it's very simple. But one thing that did get me, forgot to delete the meta inf. Stupid me. But anyway, close that, close that. I want to go back to this one, make a new folder. We want this to call this one mods. And you want to call this one core mods. Anyway, in the core mods, you want to put this one M core, paste. And in mods, you want to put this one copy, paste. I'll show you that working, then we'll get onto the server. Log in. 
more uh, Forge doing its thing, like always. Always recommends Forge when installing mods, even if it doesn't say it needs it. It's very useful to have, because then it makes the mod that you are installing compatible with other mods. So, we're looking here, yeah, it's got it. Good. So we'll open up single player, I'll create a world, we'll put it in uh, creative, so we can have a look at some of the stuff before we start. Just so you know it works, at least. So it's building the terrain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa. I thought I saw another me then. But anyway. Search for items. Detroit magic. See if anything comes up. Yeah. So these are some of the stuff. I haven't gone through them all yet. We will make a mod spotlight, hopefully, near the future. Because we will be using it, and we think it's awesome. Very underrated. Very awesome. So... Let's go on to the server, shall we? First, you need to download the latest version of Minecraft.jar. You get it from going to the Minecraft.net website. Download. And it's right there. Keep. Amount of times I've downloaded this file. And you want to copy this folder here. This file, this here. Anyway. As we made that, we might as well make the text document. Call it start or run or something along those lines. Something that you know means it's going to start the server up. And you can change that to how much you want. Um, RAM goes up in 1204s, but you can just like write 4G and it'll be in 4 gig. But 1204. Anyway, we'll keep it like that. Save. And you want to change the ending to dot bat. Now, if you don't see the ending on your list, yes. Um, you want to go organize, folder options, view, and there's this little button here. Hide extensions for known file types. You want to make sure it's unticked. It'll be ticked. Anyway, so that's there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, show in folder. You want to grab that, copy, and you want to put it into your Minecraft folder and rename it. You don't want the two there. Yours shouldn't have a two if this is the first time you're trying it. And you have, or at least moved it out of your downloads folder. Anyway, you want to right click, 7-zip, open archive. Now this time you don't have to delete the metainf, it just overwrites it. Minecraft Forge, 7-zip, open archive. Control A, drag and drop. Funny enough, this is actually a lot easier than installing the normal Minecraft one. But I guess you could say it's the same, but you don't have to delete that, so it is easier. Anyway, close, close, and you want to make another folder. Exactly the same as last time, mods, and core mods. Now I think you remember, mcore goes in here, arcs magic goes in there, and you can start. Just setting itself up. It takes a few seconds, first time that you've run the server. Da, 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 da. And I'll show you it working in a minute. I'll connect to it from a local client. So 4, 6, 7, 8, 20, 34, 45, 59, 32, 84, 92. Anyway, all right. Then you want to open up your Minecraft. Yours may not look like that. I might actually have the Minecraft logo. But so I can allocate more RAM, I have that one. Forge doing its thing again. Logging in. Taking its time. It's like a slug, you know? PC is quite cool, but it's, it's taking like a slug. Right, if you're hosting this on a local server, like on your own PC like I am, you want to write local host 25565. In fact, I don't even think you have to put the port. But anyway, I just put it anyway. But change everything from the colon back to the server IP address or dine DNS name. But anyway. And connect. Right. This is the Minecraft server. Escape. We'll go back to this one. We'll call op lord underscore kimpton. Go back to this one. That's game mode one. I. What's it? E. It's E this time. And 
magic. There you go. You got your magic mod into your server that you can all play with your friends. Make sure they've installed it properly as well. If they don't know how to do it, send them to this video. It's helped you, hasn't it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and keep out watch for more. If you have any suggestions of any mods you'd like me to install, or any spotlights you'd like me to do, please say, I'll do them, they're awesome, I love mods, I love Minecraft. Okay, watch out for new videos that are coming up. Just for heads up, we'll be playing a Minecraft story map, where it'll be very much roleplay, in a massive multi-online sort of server, it looks quite cool. Uh, I'm not going to say too much, Callum will probably hit me and say, why are you telling people about this? But keep your eyes peeled, it'll be good fun. It's really planned out, very good role play, and I've already started editing it, it's quite cool. Good day, I love you all, have fun.